So this morning starts off with a trip to the service shop. So we've got the furling all off as you saw. And it looked like it was going to be fairly straightforward, but apparently there's a problem with getting it apart. I guess the old bearing was seized up so bad and it's completely corroded to the shaft. So we're going into Turbulence, uh, their shop here, to have a look and see what the problem is and what we can do about it. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. All right, just trying to do everything at once. Yeah, that's what we're always doing. Mm -hmm. How are you today? Good, good. Good? All right, let's go see that fella. What do we got? Right, so, as you could see, the bearing is totally seized up. A long time ago and um, this is the inner race of the bearing and what stocks in there is the outer race of the bearing okay. neither one of them will come out with ease for sure right like you see that one if we if we take it off the wall is so thin that we may break the uh, the tube anyway and then we also need a little groove here for the mm. circlips yeah that no longer exists so even if we replace this there will be no no groove like this. Let me show you another one. Like you see, that one. Yeah. Bearing is here. It should have a groove. I mean, a circuit here and a groove there and there for the circuit. Okay. Groove is gone. Circuit's gone. Is that so the circuit way down here? That's the the bottom one. That's the one that goes here. Oh, it did end up way down there. Yeah, it's way down there. Hmm. Somebody probably push it down or. Because it's been there for a while, huh? you could see it's corroded. Yeah, that's right. Like so, the circlip is really important because if you pull on a halyard, then if the circlip is bad, then the entire thing comes up. Yeah. And again, water will come in through the seal because the seal is no longer there. The seal should be on top there. Okay. So, the solution is. That's the solution here. A brand new drum. Okay. So you're saying we can't fix this one, it's got to be replaced. Yeah, it's impossible. I mean, even if we, uh, if we so. manage to get this out and put a new uh, kit, right? Yeah. So here's the average seal kit and a seal. So you see, it goes there, goes there, right? Like this. Mm -hmm. And then you have a circlips on the bottom and a circlips on top here. Got it. Right? Mm -hmm. So that groove is really important because that's what holds the pressure of the hydro. Right. right. And that's what I think must be yeah. the problem with mine because it's been on there for about four years mm -hmm. since the last time it was changed. But uh, when I had the sail repaired about two or three years ago, they mm -hmm. put it back up and right. I didn't realize, but it had a really, really huge amount of uh, okay. halyard right. tension. All right. So obviously it was putting way too much pressure on the bearing. The mm -hmm. bearing shattered. Yeah. And now that's what's left. Yeah. So that's not cool. right. So garbage. And this is what and we're looking at. Luckily, thanks to Proferl, provided a new drum. So you've already talked to Proferl about this? Mm -hmm. Yep. They're happy to provide a new drum. Oh, so they're actually mm -hmm. getting on board helping replace the system. That's cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're getting a brand new system. Yeah. So this one looks a little different. Is it going to... It's okay. Same tube. Same extrusion. Same tube, same extrusion. Yeah, this is a newer version. So, you've got everything in stock, so we're good to go, mm -hmm. for yep. replacing at least. Yep. So we can put it back together and then... Mm -hmm. Yep, this morning. Get our boat launched finally. <laughs> We've been waiting, dealing with this issue for a little while. Yep. Alright, so what time do you guys want to come out? Mm, I'm waiting for Wayne. Let's say 9 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Can't tell if there's anything in it or not. Oh, there's eggs in it. Eggs? Yep. So we're going to have to find a place to move it, I guess. I don't know. The mother must go away during the day or something, I don't know, and then just come back at night. Well, that's okay, man. They're going to open in a few minutes again anyway. Okay. Well, this cool. is yours. Thank you much. Right. Have a good one. All right. 
vinyl for the dinghy. It's our new shape strap. Cool. Last one was done in gray and it kind of really looked like shit after not too long, so decided to go black this time because it will hide most dirt, little scuffs, scratches. So we'll see if it works better. All right, good morning. Today we're going to put back this dirt drum. Finally. This is going to be a bad timing, look. There goes all our audio. Yeah. But anyway, we cannot put it just as now because we have to uh, we have to adapt this uh, old chain plate to the new one. Okay. So we have new chain plate that we need to uh, cut and weld and make it fit to the new job. Right, so so that's the only a, problem, the new one's got a different uh, mount. Yeah, a different mount. This is this better. Uh, I so this, yeah, this. Got it. So we're going to weld this onto this to get the length of this. Yeah, so we have to cut it. Okay. okay. Uh, basically, we're making these to make to match that. There's two of these, there's a right hand and a left hand, so they are handed. This has got marks on it, so we'll have one with it this way, and one with it that way. Okay? We're looking for the fastener holes to be the same distances as here. They changed, they've, they've, they've changed the way they do it on the actual roller furler. Before it was done with bolts, and now it's put on and, and dropped in. Okay? So, we're looking at something similar to that. So, measure your centers, mm -hmm. measure your centers, and... Um, I would put it on at this point here, okay. so you, you, you take that off because we don't need the hole, okay? So welcome to our office of the day here at Macabana in the Pineapple Villa. So far we've been really enjoying it. Weather's a bit murky, it's supposed to clear up tomorrow. Got all our drone stuff out, Brendan and I doing some work. Trying to figure out some things with the drones. Mmm, Sasha got some lunch on the stove. And how you doing? Any luck with new software for the drones? No. Not yet? No. Good guy. Tiki's on her perch over here. Hey Tiki. What you doing? Hey okay, pretty girl. Hey pretty girl. Being a good girl? Yes, hello. Hello. What's that? The memory card was full like 10 seconds after you passed it off. Oh, what okay. When did this take off? For what? You can try. Go try. I something happened. What, you think you're going to pull the whole tree down instead? No. I already cleaned, but it's small. Please. Here it's everywhere, you fly and film it, it's garden. Can you believe it? Now she's the gardener too. <laughs> This tree is about to get plumed. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay, here, want me to try? You're almost. You're almost there. Yay! You're almost done. I don't think so. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
Okay. Now what do we do with it? Fire. Right. Finish. Finish. Yes. All right. The fun part is over. Yeah, everything is over. <laughs> so this is coming under here. Mm -hmm. And then we twist so you won't get out. And then what locks it in? Just... There's the twist because once you come this way or any way up, you cannot get out. But the arrow, once the arrow is facing down, like this. Mm -hmm. Comes out. Then out it comes. New furling. Coming up. Afternoon. Afternoon. How you doing, man? I'll keep what you did. When you want to change the furling line, you just have to take the drum apart? Yeah. So it's just the plastic. Mm -hmm. Just unscrew those screws there. Can I have my glass of wine, please? That's why I did not publish video. <laughs> How did we get here, anyway? <laughs> tell me it kind of just happened. <laughs> but there's always a story, right? Mm -hmm. But it is very nice. Definitely not part of our everyday life. Mm -hmm but definitely part of what we're enjoying today. I like this bush.
happened? What? What's happened? What news what's happened? <laughs> I'm not e e I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to move around, get some air. I'm good. Chugging water. That's good. Too much wine is never good. Not too much, it just happened. It just happened. What just happened? We too just much like wine? We drink wine like... <laughs> <laughs> Serves me right for leaving her alone for half an hour while I was filming. I see that. Left her too close to the wine bar and apparently they had some good wines and uh, Sasha was enjoying. <laughs> A little bit too much. But she'll live. We'll see how she feels tomorrow. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everybody's fine. Sorry, man. <laughs>